There are all kinds of hybrid animals in the world. While some are absolutely harmless, others are better not to be approached because they're a terrifying force. From the crazy mix of tiger and lion to the most aggressive insects and the monster crocodile. In this episode, I'll show you these and other of the most dangerous hybrid animals that exist today. Let's go. Liger The tiger and the lion are probably the two strongest predators of the feline family. If we combine them, we get the liger, the undisputed leader amongst all the cats in the world. The liger is a hybrid between a lion and a tigress and is also the largest cat alive today. Externally, the liger resembles the giant extinct European cave lion. The liger has incorporated all the best qualities of its ancestors, the courage and gracefulness of the lion and the hunting skills of the tiger. By the way, unlike lions, the liger loves to swim. The liger is one of the most dangerous hybrids on the planet. Firstly, the blood of two powerful predators boils in it. Secondly, anyone will have to reckon with the size of the liger. If an adult lion weighs 551 pounds, the weight of the liger easily exceeds 660 or even 880 pounds. The length of a tiger is about 10 feet, but a liger may grow to 13 feet long. The biggest liger and therefore the biggest cat in the world is Hercules. He has a weight of 992 pounds and is twice as heavy as an average lion. His standing height on his hind legs is 12.1 feet and his length is 11.8 feet. To maintain his power, he eats more than 20 pounds of meat every day. Although scientists believe that Hercules could devour at least 99 pounds a day. However, in that case, he would have fattened up to 1,543 pounds and would be three times bigger than a lion. Fortunately, ligers live only in captivity, so you won't encounter this dangerous hybrid in the wild. Tigon while the liger is a hybrid between a lion and a tigress, Tigon is, on the contrary, a hybrid of a tiger and a lioness. These animals resemble ligers but differ in their striped pattern, which is inherited from their father. There are also spots on the Tigon's coloration from its mother. Tigon is not as large as the liger and weighs about 330 pounds, but it has other advantages. The Tigon can reach up to 46 miles per hour, which is more than enough for successful hunting, even though these creatures live in captivity. By the way, unlike the Liger, the Tigon is quite capable of surviving in the wild. Being a mixture of a tiger and a lioness, the Tigon is a very dangerous creature. Though it lives in captivity, even there its violent temper often manifests itself. Tigons can even clash with Ligers, here's just such a footage. Although the battle was quickly over, we managed to see that the Tigon had taken the top position and held the giant liger on the ground for a couple of seconds. I'm sure the Tigon would have had no equal in the wild. Africanized Bee It's unlikely that many of you like bees. These creatures buzz nastily, are perpetually annoyed in the summer season, and worst of all, sting. Even the sting of an ordinary bee is unpleasant but the sting of an Africanized bee can be fatal. They are perhaps the most aggressive and deadly hybrids in existence. The Africanized bee is a hybrid between the East African lowland honeybee and various European bees. The hybrid was bred in the 1950s in Brazil, but the experiment became a real horror. One day, 26 bee families, in keeping with the best traditions of horror movies, broke out of the lab and into the wild. There, they mutated multiplied and became uncontrollable aggressors. Spreading from South America to North America, they took over an entire part of the world. Now the Africanized bees attack livestock and humans and do so much more violently than their normal congeners. These insects stalk their victims and sting them to the bitter end. The result is a multitude of fatal cases. Several hundred humans and animals have already fallen victim to these creatures, and these statistics continue to grow. While these bees continue to take over America, not surprisingly, the hybrid has received a second, more sonorous name, the killer bee. Cuban-American Crocodile America suffers not only from the attacks of insane bees but also from the monster crocodile. The Cuban-American Crocodile is the result of natural crossbreeding between the Cuban Crocodile and the American Crocodile. 
The first inhabits Cuba, reaching a length of over 11.4 feet and weighing more than 440 pounds. The American crocodile is found in South and North America, weighing 13 to 20 feet in length. Mass of males reaches a ton. As you understand, the Cuban-American crocodile is a large and dangerous hybrid which has absorbed all the most terrible qualities of its parents. The huge size of American crocodiles and unrestrained aggression of Cuban ones. So far, scientists have observed only a few hybrids around Cuba and the southern states of America, but they're already saying that the Cuban-American hybrid is a threat to humans as well as to its ancestors. It seems that the main giant in the world of reptiles, the saltwater crocodile, has a peer competitor on the other side of the world. Kaiwolf The Kaiwolf is another dangerous American hybrid. From the name, it's clear that this hybrid has the blood of a wolf and a coyote, two powerful and ferocious predators. The hybrid is found in the northeastern United States and southeastern Canada. Kaiwolves are smaller than wolves, but about twice the size of coyotes. These animals have wolf aggression and the ability to hunt in packs. There's also an obvious coyote trait about them. Kai wolves are not afraid to enter human inhabited areas. Farmers, whose livestock are often attacked by Kai wolves, usually suffer from this. Hybrids hunt in packs. So attacks on sheep and cattle in broad daylight have become their normal behavior. Fortunately, Kai wolf attacks on humans are almost non existent, but that doesn't mean anything yet. The Kai wolf is potentially just as dangerous to humans as a gray wolf or a brazen coyote. Not all animal hybrids can be called dangerous, but perhaps all of them can be called amazing. And some of them are so unique and unusual that it's hard to believe in them. Let's take a look at them, too. Stay tuned to see the mysterious combination of a hippo and a crocodile. Learn about a unique hybrid shark and see a black whale that will impress you. Crocopo a few years ago, a tourist from Scotland, Harvey Robertson, was boating off the Greek island of Corfu in the Mediterranean Sea when he suddenly noticed a strange creature in the water in a dark cave. The photographer saw the monster that emerged from the water only later, looking through the pictures taken. He caught the creature on camera twice, once above water and once underwater. The images posted on the internet quickly caught the attention of people and the media. What kind of creature was it? There were two main guesses, a white beluga whale or a sunfish, but both raised doubts. The resemblance to the sunfish, which reaches a ton or more in weight, is quite distant. The creature photographed by Harvey has differently positioned eyes and a much more elongated snout. Could it be a strange hybrid of a hippo and a crocodile? As ridiculous as it sounds, it's more likely true. The creature's muzzle alone clearly resembles a hippo's muzzle. And what do you think? What do you think this creature is? Share your thoughts in the comments. Hybrid Shark If the cross between a hippo and a crocodile is still in doubt, then everything is clear with this creature. As many as 57 hybrid sharks were discovered by scientists several years ago in the sea off the east coast of Australia. The discovery was the world's first evidence of interspecies interbreeding in sharks. The new sharks have the same genetic material of the Australian black tip shark and common black tip shark. At the same time, the unusual hybrid is characterized by increased endurance and rapid adaptation to extreme conditions. According to scientists, hybrid sharks better tolerate too cold and too warm waters. But most importantly, hybrid sharks are incredibly aggressive and can be more dangerous than ordinary sharks. The extraordinary thing about this hybrid is that the Australian blacktip shark and the common blacktip shark are two competing species. Why then did they decide to cross? It's believed that they did it deliberately to become stronger and more enduring and to adapt to living in extreme conditions for them. Narluga We'll stay in the water a little longer because here you can find an amazing black whale, the narluga. It's a hybrid born from mating a female narwhal and a male beluga whale. If the appearance of Australian hybrid sharks surprise scientists because of the mixing of competing species, there's nothing surprising in the case of narlugas. Narwhals and beluga whales share a common range, have similar size, and are closely related to each other. Scientists have observed mixed pods of narwhals and beluga whales many times before, and now they're also observing the amazing black hybrids. The narluga is one of the rarest hybrids in the world 
and it's not seen every day. Recently, narlugas have been observed in the eastern Atlantic Ocean, which may be a sign of climate change. Puma purred, and let's finish where we started, with cats. The last hybrid in this episode is the puma purred, a very unusual and extremely rare hybrid, which is the result of a cross between a male cougar and a female leopard. It has a long body like that of a cougar with short paws and a squat posture. Puma purds resemble large domestic cats or mini versions of leopards, which is what makes them unusual. At this time, there's no information at all about living puma purds. It's believed that they stopped being bred in the 50s and 60s of the last century. Now we can judge about these unusual animals only by photos or stuffed animals. That's all, guys. Which hybrid impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.